And finally, in New York, dozens of asylum seekers continued a peaceful demonstration Monday outside a Manhattan hotel, where they'd been living for weeks, until city officials suddenly evicted them over the weekend to move them to a remote camp at a cruise terminal in Red Hook, Brooklyn. A warehouse facility has been filled with a thousand cots, head to toe. Asylum seekers said there's no heat, no space for them to safely store their personal belongings. Dozens are sleeping on the sidewalk outside the Watson Hotel pleading with the city to provide permanent and humane housing, as well as job permits, so they can make a living. Democracy Now!'s Maria Teresena and Sanji Lopez were on the ground as police barricaded the hotel and forced several asylum seekers to board buses to be taken to the new camp. Others refused to go. This is Jimena Bustamante, mutual aid organizer and founder of the Undocumented Women's Fund. Many of them have already jobs in the area, and, you know, like, uh, the, they have built community around here, and actually they cannot be forced, because there is, in New York, a right to shelter. However, um, you know, it, there have been police called here to intimidate them, and they have stood their ground. They are camping outside. Mutual aid organizers have rallied in solidarity with the asylum seekers and have vowed to fight the evictions. This is Yahaira Saavedra, co-founder of La Morada Mutual Aid Kitchen. The police is obviously used to intimidate, intimidate us. Uh, they wanted to conduct a sweep here, but we have a lot of mutual aid, a lot of uh, people in solidarity who stopped the sweeps. Ivan, an asylum seeker from Venezuela, said he was assaulted Sunday night by a security guard working at the Watson Hotel. I was filming the men who were being loaded onto buses. Several of us were filming them. When a security guard, a staff member from the Watson Hotel, assaulted me, he tried to take my cell phone. When I tried to move it away from him, he punched me back here. He punched me really hard. Meanwhile, another group of asylum seekers shared an exclusive video recording with Democracy Now! of a Watson Hotel staff member telling them the city's not giving them other options and that the hotel had to be emptied out to carry out construction. The city is not giving you any more options. They want everything here to be emptied out because they have to demolish everything. They're bringing construction crews. New York officials are reportedly planning to use the hotel to house asylum-seeking families with children. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. When we come back, or, well, we'll go right into the story of um, the first story we bring you today. I'm Amy Goodman in New York, joined by Juan Gonzalez in Chicago. Hi, Juan. Hi, Amy. Welcome to all of our listeners and viewers across the country and around the world.